Hello friends, welcome back. Life is multiple little things, but food is in the middle of everything. Today I am baking once again, and this bake is very, very special. I am doing this for the cutest little wee boy, Benji, who turns one. Happy birthday to you! Also meet the doggy parents, who are my very good friends and family. This picture is from the time when Benji was first brought home. I'm so excited because I've never done this in my life before. This is my first time. So earlier in the day, I just uh, googled through to uh, uh, pick some recipe. And the recipe that I am doing today is from allrecipes.com. The link to this recipe is available in the description box. So if you all are ready, let's get started. Well, I have all the ingredients uh, already laid out over here. It's a pretty simple cake and everybody has been asking me uh, whether this cake is edible by humans, absolutely yes, because you know if I look at the ingredients, it's all the ingredients that gets into our cakes too. I'm going to get started. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, crack an egg. So I'm going to crack this egg. There you go. And then I'm adding one fourth cup of peanut butter. Yes, that's the recommendation in the recipe. So I'm going to use that. I'm having here one third cup of uh, honey absolutely oh it's a healthy cake i'll tell you you know probably our cakes are not as healthy as this one so happy to do this uh, inclusive baking absolutely excited okay so what's next so i have the egg i have the peanut butter i have the honey in here and of course vanilla essence mm -hmm. doggy cakes also need some good flavoring so one teaspoon i'm going to add here and I have one third cup of cooking oil. So I'm adding one cup of chopped carrots. Okay, so I'm going to use the spatula and give it a nice mix. Everything looks good. I'm going to sift through a cup of whole wheat flour. That's what the recipe calls for. And also a teaspoon of baking soda. So once we have done, we are going to fold the flour into this mix. So my oven is preheated at 350 and I am ready to bake. I have a six inch pan over here, which I have greased. I'm going to spoon the batter into this pan and it goes inside the oven. It's gooey and it's looking really good. I hope it comes out well and the furry boy likes it and also the doggy mama. She has to be happy too. <laughs> I'm going to push this inside the oven and bake for 40 minutes. So there it is inside the oven. Okay, so it's 40 minutes and my cake is out of the oven. Look at that. It's looking good. Okay, so the cake has completely cooled down and now it is ready for frosting. But it's a very interesting frosting today. Um, I'm going to frost this uh, using mashed potatoes. I have roughly uh, 10 to 12 uh, little potatoes boiled and I'm going to mash this first. Potatoes are mashed and to this I'm going to add one cup of yogurt. This recipe is uh, something which I googled and I'm going to uh, share the link in the description box should you be interested. Let's add a tiny bit of water. Okay, so my frosting is ready. Okay, so there you go. Oh my god, look at this. This cake is looking absolutely delicious. I was not sure if Benji had yogurt before, so I made another one without the frosting.
Thank you for watching and do come back for more.